Hi Libra and welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Medium. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys have been doing well, Libra. So we're going to be looking into your love life, all right? And we'll see what's going on. Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. What's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising? Tell me about Libra's love life. What's going on with Libra's love life? Queen of Wands, all right. Libra. Oops. Hmm. Nine of Wands being paired with the Eight of Cups. Libra, Libra, Libra. What's going on in Libra's love life? What is going on in Libra's love life? What's going on in Libra's love life? All right, Three of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is someone who stands her ground, okay? This is a defender. Clarify the Queen of Wands. What was that? The world. Clarify the Queen of Wands. The Empress, King of Swords. Hmm. Interesting. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Uh-oh. This is like, um, this is drama. This is like a drama movie. Let me just double check. Okay, clarify. Queen of Wands. King of Cups. On the back, Seven of Swords. That's interesting. Okay, tell me about the Empress. Hold on, you guys. Let me get more details. This is juicy. <laughs> Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress. The thing is, there's more than three people here. There's four people. Yes, it is possible for, you know, one individual to carry multiple energies. Absolutely. But what I'm picking up intuitively is that there are four people here. Not even just three, four. I don't think I've seen a reading like this before. Clarify the Empress. Tell me about this Empress. The moon. Oh. <sighs> okay. Tell me about this Empress. There's two women and two men, or two feminine energies and two masculine energies. Oh my gosh, Libra, what the heck? What have you been going through, Libra? What's going on here, Libra? Because this is like, this is major. Okay, um, like I said, two masculine energies and two feminine energies. Let me just tell you what I see, okay? Enough with the stalling. So with the Queen of Wands here, for some of you, there's so many energies. There are so many energies. Okay. Remember, the roles can be reversed. Okay? So if I say you did something and you know you didn't do it and you know it's the other person who did it, reverse it and apply it to the situation the way that it happened for you if it is resonating. Okay? I feel like for the majority of you, this queen of wands isn't you for the majority of you. This Queen of Wands is a feminine energy who is catching on to some sneaky behavior here from your love interest. 
your love interest has been dealing with two people, you and another woman who's coming out as the Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands knows for sure that your love interest is about to come towards you. She knows. For sure, she knows. That's why she's the Queen of Wands now. Typically for me, the other woman card is actually the Queen of Cups. For me, whenever there's another woman or a third party, she comes out as, as the Queen of Cups. But she becomes the Queen of Wands when she is standing her ground, when she's becoming forceful. Like I said, the Queen of Wands, she's a defender. Typically, when someone embodies the Queen of Wands energy, they are willing to put up a fight in order to get what they want. So that is why the other woman is now the Queen of Wands, okay? Because she is alert now. She's putting two and two together. She knows about you. She knows about you. You are the Empress she, in Clarity of the Queen of Wands, you have the world. She wants to start a new, like, she does not want there to be an ending between her and the King of the, sorry, between her and the King of Swords. The King of Swords is your love interest. If I said the King of Cups was, I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I said it, but King of Swords is your love interest, right? This gentleman here, was going between a king of wands and an empress. I feel like for most of you, the empress is you. I feel like this queen of wands is or can be very forceful, has a way of getting what she wants. Some readers even say that the queen of wands could be someone who uses her um, sexuality to get what it is that she wants. So this king of swords could have been getting only sexual fulfillment from the queen of wands while getting emotional fulfillment from you and it makes perfect sense because the empress is someone who is very nurturing she is a caregiver she takes care of people the empress provides emotional stability for others she makes other people feel secure so this king of swords is very codependent on you. You make them feel good. When someone sees you as the empress, it's not just that they want you, but it's that they actually feel as if they need you. They feel that they need you in their life in order to feel stable. So the energy that I'm picking up here, it's like their connection with the queen of wands was nothing really serious. Well, well, I don't want to say that because from the Queen of Wands perspective, he belongs to her. That's why she's standing her ground. That's why she's forcefully trying to get her way with him. But from his perspective, it's, it was purely just lust and sex and other things. This Queen of Wands has this strong inner feeling that the King of Swords is about to come towards you. Okay, a very, very strong feeling. That's why she's trying to prevent him from completing a cycle with her. She wants to avoid this connection from completing because the world is, you know, this is literally someone who's at the borderline of either going back to their past or going towards a new beginning. This Queen of Wands knows that the King of Swords is, is, is on this borderline of either continuing the connection with her or going towards something new with you. She knows and she's standing her ground. Okay. The thing is, the king of swords is someone who's honest and transparent. This is someone who is very straightforward. Your person isn't hiding you anymore. Your person has most likely made it clear to this queen of wands that they are in love with you. All eyes are on you, Libra. All eyes are on you. 
okay? Um, I feel the King of Swords is someone who can be seen as cold, you know, very cutting. But I feel like the King of Swords just wants you so badly that he can't hide it anymore. For a lot of you, your person literally spoke about you to the Queen of Wands. And that's why she is now the Queen of Wands. Um, wow. The thing is, you have the Seven of Swords. So... Your person may have even gotten caught, like the Queen of Wands caught your person, caught on to what your person was doing. Because the Seven of Swords is someone who did something sneaky, I feel like in some way, shape, or form, the Queen of Wands may have done something sneaky and discovered you and learned about you, leaving the King of Swords no choice but to be honest and transparent about what was happening and his feelings for you. I did ask who the Empress is. We were looking more about, well, I asked about the Empress earlier and the cards that came out are the Moon, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so with the Moon, the Moon represents secret, something that was once hidden, but see how the sun is coming out. The sun is rising and the sunlight is shining in these towers. So whatever was done in the dark, it's coming to light. Okay, I feel like you are about to find out some things about your person. You're about to see the truth because this individual was being sneaky and they were not being clear and honest about how deeply they feel for you. I feel with the Hierophant, this is them wanting to give you an apology. They want to confess. They want to share what the secret is. in order to receive forgiveness from you. And then you have the Ten of Cups in order to get this happily ever after with you. Wow. Let's look at this King of Cups. The King of Cups is the fourth person. Clarify the King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups. Oh, excuse me. The King of Cups is actually your love interest. So it looks here that your love interest is the King of Swords when it comes to the Queen of Wands, but they your love interest is the King of Cups when it comes to you. They want to offer you their emotions and feelings. The King of Cups is someone who feels very deeply. They want a second chance. Ace of Cups represents a second chance. Yeah, this is the same individual. I was like, four people? <laughs> Five of Pentacles is here as well. They don't want you to stray away from them. They don't want this coldness and distance to continue between the two of you. They don't want that. Despite the hardships, they still see the value of this connection. Nine of Wands being clarified by the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Clarify the Nine. Clarify the Nine of Wands. feel like yeah okay these two cards came out okay let's see what's going on here so with the nine of wands this person is running out of time they're in a tight situation they don't have the room to hide their feelings for you anymore there, there's not that option isn't here anymore to do that because with the nine of wands this is someone who is like struggling this is someone who is very emotionally unbalanced 
This could be someone who's very paranoid, very defensive. I feel like the reason I'm when I look at the nine of wands, what I'm hearing, what I'm picking up is that this person is now in a very um, hostile environment because of this queen of wands. This queen of wands is not giving them any sort of freedom. This queen of wands is becoming very forceful and very controlling and overwhelming because she knows about you. And so this she's not giving him a break. This is your person here as the Nine of Wands, knowing it's like the hostility is, is just there. I don't know how else I can explain it. You know, they slipped up and they got caught. This Queen of Wands caught them. Um, in Clarity of the Nine of Wands, you have the Eight of Cups. They're thinking about just ending this completely with the Queen of Wands. They're thinking about they're thinking about no longer investing their time or their effort into this connection with the Queen of Wands because they're unfulfilled. Um, Ace of Pentacles is here. All right, so with the Ace of Pentacles, this represents a new beginning. They want to start a new chapter. Oh my gosh. And it came out right after the eight of cups, which is literally turning your back on the past and going towards a new beginning. And then you have the ace of pentacles literally representing a new beginning. So things are just becoming too overbearing for them. Between the two of them, things are just becoming too hostile. And your person is left with no other choice but to walk away. Um, your person is here as the four of pentacles. They're saving themselves for you, they're not giving their pentacle to the queen of wands. They're not giving their, their pentacles to anyone because they're waiting to give it specifically to you. They are not sharing themselves with the queen of wands. There's no genuine love. I feel like this connection between them and the queen of wands was never sincere in the first place. It was forced. There may have been a lot of manipulation, control, you know, guilt tripping you have the sun that's here yeah it's like you are their sun you are their light especially now that they're struggling and they're they're so dissatisfied with their life the only thing that makes them optimistic is you oh my gosh literally look two of pentacles they're making a decision yeah they're making a, making a decision between leaving this queen of wands and contacting you three of swords clarify the three of swords oops i forgot to turn over this card earlier okay clarify the three of swords Judgment. Clarify the Three of Swords. I literally just said they're making a decision. <laughs> I literally just said that. And then the judgment came out. The judgment represents a final decision. Clarify the Three of Swords. Seven of Cups. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm not making this stuff up. The Seven of Cups literally represents a decision. This is someone who's in their head. Temperance. They're going to follow their heart. It's about time. Yeah, they're going to follow their heart. They're going to come towards you. Oh my gosh, Libra. <laughs> this is fascinating. I've been doing tarot for a year exactly. No, a year? Has it been a year? Not yet. No, it has not been a year yet. Well, has it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even focused on that, you guys. I'm not focused on that at all. I'm still consumed in this reading. On the back, you have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups represents a reunion. And I literally just said they're going to follow their heart and, and go towards you. Man. So... With the Three of Swords uh, being clarified by the judgment, the Three of Swords represents heartbreak. This is someone, it's like as reckless as they may 
come off. This is actually someone who cares about people, or at least they care about the Queen of Wands to an extent, because right now they know that, that this decision to go towards you is going to hurt her. Okay, and they know they don't want to ever hurt anyone. A lot of you are probably like, uh, well, dream, they hurt me and they didn't care. Um, but here's the difference between you and the Queen of Wands. You are the Empress, okay? You are used to building people, which can have many cons to that, okay? People tend to take advantage of the Empress because she is an empath. You know, she's very empathetic. She cares for people. Um, but the Queen of Wands has a way of being very forceful and overbearing and dramatic. So your person knows, it's like when they hurt you, they see you as the Empress. So they know you're still going to be a stable individual. You're still going to keep your crown on um, and handle your business. But they know if they hurt the Queen of Wands, she's going to, she, this is a defender, okay? She's going to cause a catastrophe. This is someone who's going to cause drama here. Um, so that's what they're wary of. In Clarity of the Three of Swords, you have the judgment. Yeah, they know when they make this final decision to end things with her, it's not going to end nicely at all. She may even do things, do something to hurt him back. Um, in Clarity of the Three of Swords... You have the Seven of Cups. Like I said, this is someone who's in their head trying to make a decision. Okay, but the thing with your person is they know which decision to make or what decision to make. They know. They know only one option is going to bring them abundance and true fulfillment, which is the option of going towards you. They have several options, but they know that only one can really bring them happiness. You have the temperance, okay? So the temperance here, this is them, ugh, they're going to do it. They're going to follow their heart. When I looked at the temperance, I saw it. They're going to follow their heart because it's like their heart will not rest until they can connect with you or reconnect with you. The temperance is all about balance and harmony. They will not feel in harmony with themselves. They will not feel calm. Um, they will not feel balanced until they can come to you. Like I said, they see you as the empress, so there are codependencies. Six of Wands represents victory, and then you have the Six of Cups on the back, which represents a reunion, okay? Um, there's definitely consequences to this. There's a big consequence for, for making a decision to go towards you. I feel it like this Queen of Wands is going to explode, Okay, so Libra, your reading was so interesting, um, very, very dramatic. I, I hope that this reading helps you, though. I hope, I hope that it gives you clarity or confirmation. Please remember it's general, so take what resonates and leave what does not. You're welcome to book a private reading with me. The link to my website is in the description box. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys so much, all right, and take care.